given how cold it is, we're at 12 degrees right now. It's just harder. You can't move the snow and get it completely dry on the pavement with conditions that are that cold and sleet underneath. So it certainly has the potential to be a slow go. But again, at least it is the holiday. A lot of those schools off for today, and maybe a lot of those businesses as well. But if you have to head out the door for this morning, we want you to stay connected as we'll continue to keep an eye on your morning rush hour this morning. Here's a live look I-35, and you can see traffic is moving, but it is certainly moving a lot slower heading into downtown Kansas City and south out of downtown KC for this morning as well. We are working with bitter cold conditions with 12 degrees here in the city. The good news, the snow is now coming to an end here in the immediate metro. The bad news, we just have bitter cold conditions across the area this morning as you're heading out for this holiday. We're at 12 in Odessa, 12 in Lee Summit, but now let me factor in the winds in Lee Summit, and it feels like zero. Feels like zero in Olathe. Wind chill right now of five degrees in Lawrence. So it's one of those mornings that although you may not plan to get out of your car, head straight from your garage at home into the garage at work, I would bring the extra layers in your car. Just stuff them in the back seat, put them in your trunk just in case you need it for this morning. Because given how cold it is, if you do have to get out of your car for this morning, it's one of those mornings where it could be potentially dangerous for a prolonged amount of time outside. Keep an eye on Stormview Doppler radar here. This is our live radar, and we're watching as this snow is beginning to wind down where we have widespread snow. About 70% of our viewing area had snow overnight. Now we have about 40% that is dealing with these light snow showers. And a lot of this now shifting just south of the I-70 corridor. South along I-35 from Ottawa, Garnett, through areas of Paola, Lewisburg, Lacine, where you see these darker blue shadings, that's still some good bursts of light to moderate snow falling south of the city. You can see from Raymore straight down 49 through Butler, light snow here extending east through Garden City, right through 50 Highway in Kingsville this morning through Warrensburg. Light snow is beginning to come to an end here as well. And then this extends east through our folks in Sedalia down through Warsaw for this morning. We are dealing with the majority of us anywhere from one to three of snow inches as expected. Isolated pockets still getting some reports close to four. But this is going to be a big story across the country for today. If you have any travels south of our area, east of our area. They are dealing with a winter system. And we're talking about ice through the Tennessee Valley and then snow through the Ohio Valley with the same storm system that we have seen here for the last 12 hours. Here's a look at your chances for snow. Again, going downhill rapidly as we are working into this afternoon and really over the next hour or two, our best window of snow as we are working through your entire Monday. By the time we're heading home later today, I do still think there could be some slow travel for your evening drive, but dry conditions. And then watch what happens by tomorrow morning. Another burst of moisture moves in. This is Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. So we'll be watching this very closely. Right now it looks like this may move in just after the morning rush hour. But it is just too close to take it off the table for your morning commute. So for your Tuesday morning drive, new snow, anywhere from a dusting to a half inch slick roads. And it looks like a busy week ahead as we're heading towards Friday and into the weekend. Another system that could be another storm of snow that sticks to our area Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So five out of the next seven days, I've got snowfall in the forecast. So 28 degrees tomorrow, that 30% chance of snow. Wednesday, it's all about the cold. Thursday, we're dry. And then Friday and Saturday, a 30% chance. Chance of moisture best window through the weekend right now looks to be on Sunday. So, active weather moving into our area, Donna. Over to you.